Hey guys and girls, it has been so long since I've done one of these vlogs, haven't it? Hasn't it? Um, cheers to you. I just fin oh my god. I just finished um, chest and triceps, the workout that I loathe doing the most. And I'm, that's going to be the point of my video. Um, don't know if I've shot a video on this before. I don't think I did. But uh, I am actually like, not only am I sweaty as hell, which you know, for those of you guys that have been watching me for a while, like I always gauge how good a workout is on the degree of sweatiness that I get at the end. So clearly, I also have to take into consideration it is actually 75 degrees in Chicago today. So there's that. Uh, Mr. Flo, there you go. Is that a black and blue mark? Yes, it is. I got a massage last night. Maybe she poked me a little hard. But there you go, because you guys always yell at me if I don't flex. Um, so yes, super sweaty, post-workout, and I am so inspired by this workout on so many different levels. Um, I just mentioned um, something to this effect on Snapchat. Hopefully, if you're not following me on Snapchat, you'll head on over there. Um, all of my links to all of my social media platforms are below the video in the information there. Still a little bit out of breath. Um, but now, and, and you guys have seen, <laughs> my shooting of videos for the past year um, has been so erratic and so crazy on YouTube. Um, but the thing is, is I was um, doing a lot of work in my personal life, in my professional life, just with everything. And number one, starting to get, oh, I'm shaking, overwhelmed with everything that I wanted to do. Um, and, and I've always had a tendency to want to do everything all at once. It's like books. I, I've shared that with you guys before. I buy a ton of books and I start reading them all. And then I'm like one chapter into this one, three chapters into this one. I go back to chapter two of this one. I'm like, what was this about? And you're never fully present. I started to realize the degree of multitasking and trying to accomplish way too much in way too short of a time. So I allowed myself the time to slow down, analyze all the things I want to do. What are the things that I feel like I'm doing just because I'm obligated? What are the things that I really want to do? What are the things that are important to me? Blah, blah, blah. I'll get into that in a separate one. But all that said, I've made so much progress. Um, the first quarter of this year was very, very strenuous, very chaotic, very stressful. But it taught me some of the best lessons. And that's a perfect segue into the topic of what I'm going to talk about here. And then I'm going to shoot another video about my Do What You Hate Challenge. Um, because I'm resurrecting that for this year, and it's such a great, effective tool. Make sure you tune in for that one. But the segue of what I just said about, you know, out of chaos and, and craziness can come the best things. And that's part of what I shared on Snapchat, which is I had just finished the end of this chest and triceps workout. Those of you that have been following me on YouTube for a while, you know I love to work my delts, I love to work my back, I love to work legs and glutes. I hate working calves, I hate working um, chest and triceps, and I've always tended to skew towards doing just the things that I love and then I enjoy. Not only is that not a well-balanced approach to working out to life, then you end up with an unbalanced physique. Then you end up with, um, you know, you have no variety, you have no diversity in your training, and your body will respond accordingly. You'll be unbalanced in, in so many ways. When I started hitting everything, okay, my body changed, my mind changed because I felt stronger in every part of my body. My body as a whole, it wasn't just like, well, I know I have good biceps, like it was just as a whole. But here's the interesting thing, it's not interesting, it is so true. You don't, nothing good comes easy. And think about this in the gym context, in a fitness context. You make gains in the gym, whether it's wanting to build muscle or ladies, if you want to tone or if you want to, you know, build muscle, lean out, whatever it is that you want to do. If you want to accomplish it, you will only make progress to some degree when you hit levels of failure. And I think too many people don't realize that. I finished my workout and I tried to do this last set of tricep push-ups, and I literally was on the last one like this and I just, my body gave out because I couldn't hold myself up anymore. That's because I worked that hard. And as I'm speaking to you right now, like as I'm using my arms here, I can feel the burn in my triceps. I can feel that, you know, this part of, you know, my chest muscles is, is starting to um, hurt in a good way, right? So when I'm sharing this with you, I'm not saying go for failure, hurt yourself, lift way too heavy weights. I'm not saying that at all. 
failure in the gym is when you work your muscle to fatigue and then you keep pushing you know there, there's great degrees of success that come with you know my first trainer jay he used to do that with me i would do um say i was on like the leg extension machine and we do 15 reps 12 reps, 10 reps, eight reps. And then he would just do one to failure. And he's like, just keep going, just keep going. He'd be standing right by me. And I'd be like, I can't, I can't. He's like, two more, two more. And just keep going. And, and you could, you'd be amazed how much more you'd push out. And if you were by yourself and you didn't push yourself, and then I would of course, you know, get off that machine and I'd be like quivering, kind of like my muscles are now. That's when your body starts to transform. And guess what, people? That's also when your mind starts to transform. When you push yourself, when you get to the point where you're like, I can't give anymore. Same thing for like running, you know, doing that, doing yoga. Again, all of this stuff that I'm talking about in the context of safety and good form, period. But it's really amazing to me when I also look at this in the context of first 90 days of this year. First 90 days of this year, people, probably the singular most stressful, chaotic, full of anxiety quarter of my business life since I founded Fitfluential. No, no question. There was a whole month I didn't sleep. Didn't sleep, meaning um, even though I, I went back to taking Excedrin PM or Advil PM or Benadryl to, to be able to fall asleep, and even then I couldn't sleep because my heart felt like it was racing. That's anxiety. Never had that before. Out of that chaos came the best humbling moments where I chose to learn and I applied the learnings and now I feel I, I'm getting more accomplished in the past two weeks. I'm writing down my goals. I'm doing all the things that I've said. Oh, I need to do this. I need to write my goals. I need to say my goals. All this stuff. It's happening. But it happened out of hitting the wall, hitting the rock bottom, but then choosing to learn out of that and progress. So that's my lesson for you today. Bam. Under seven minute vlog. You guys go have a great day. I'm shooting more videos. Tune in.